The motto of Beijing's Winter Games is together for a shared future. It's a nice sentiment, but daily life in the Chinese capital is far apart from the Olympic enclave within it, and absolutely nothing is shared between the people that inhabit the two worlds. Too great is the risk of Omicron for China as it tries to maintain its zero-COVID policy. In the week leading to January 30th, 237 symptomatic infections were reported in the country of 1.4 billion people. Meanwhile, arrivals testing and the daily screening of games participants has already registered around 200 positive results. The closed-loop system means those Olympic personnel who are visiting from other countries won't be able to freely wander and check out some of the iconic tourist sites like this one, the Forbidden City. For them, it is truly forbidden. Instead, for athletes, organizers, and us journalists inside the closed loop, Beijing has become a series of bubbles. Our hotels, the sporting venues, and places like this media center are as much as the city has to offer. There are even literal walls, security, blocking us from freely moving about. We're COVID tested every day outside the hotel. Technology takes the place of many lost interactions. Here at the media center, a robot serves our food. And there's a robot bartender mixing and serving our drinks. Only a limited number of Beijingers have joined our closed loop to look after and transport all the people connected to the games. And they too will need to stay separate from family and friends for weeks. Quite a sacrifice as the Lunar New Year holiday overlaps with the Olympics. But as COVID has disconnected Beijing from the international event it's hosting, it has also disconnected the people here from the rest of their country. And normally during the Lunar New Year holiday, major cities like Beijing, they're empty. All the folks who live here going back to their home provinces. But this year, because of the outbreaks happening all over China, they're asking folks to stay put. So you have crowds like this gathering at some of the more popular spots. Crowds that won't get to be there as the medals are contested and won. No sporting tickets are on sale. Instead, the government will issue some to a lucky few. Beijing 2022 is a tale of two cities. The hosts and their guests so close, but so far. For CNN, I'm Selena Wing inside the Olympic closed loop. And I'm David Culver on the outside, Beijing, China.